Uh, coming up with this episode of NSFW Show, we are joined by Chris Lazinski. He's got a brand new book. I read something from Go Home, Standing Your Drunk, available this Friday with the help of Chris, Bonnie, and Brian. It's all coming up on this edition of NSFW Show. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 206, recorded on November 26, 2013. Enjoy the pleasure garden. This episode of NSFW brought to you by Squarespace, the all in one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website or online portfolio. For a free trial and 10% off, go to squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW11. And ProXPN. ProXPN is a virtual private network that allows you to use the internet the way it should be, anonymous and unfiltered. For 20% off your new account, go to ProXPN.com slash twit and use the code NSFW. And Audible.com. To download a free audiobook of your choice, go to AudiblePodcast.com slash NSFW. And you know you want to. What's a Blumpkin? <laughs> The act of performing fellatio while the recipient is defecating in a toilet. The new show full of wind, the new sauce for the Webernets. Oh my goodness, beautiful party people. You have no idea what you're in store for. This lovely evening live from uh, Twits East Coast Ancillary Auxiliary Place of Establishment. It's just Robert Young. What's going on, JRY, man? How you doing, buddy? Dude, we are kicking it as old school as old school, school gets. A Skype episode with me in sunny South Florida, you in Austin. And we are joined by a special guest all the way across the country. We couldn't leave Cal occupied. Yeah, no, we had to go all the way back to from I assume Los Angeles, California. Is that right, Chris? <laughs> That's where I am. Yeah, right on. From Los Angeles, California, we have former Revision Three intern <laughs> turned <laughs> blog writer for Tosh.0, turned reporter for TMZ, returned uh, creator of your next favorite card game, Chris Lisinski. How you doing, Chris? I'm doing super well. Thanks for having me on here. Man, this has been kind of a weird journey to get here because you were part of the original Revision 3 intern crew, right? I know, dude. I just, my mind was blown when I went in for my interview and I and I mentioned that I was a magician. And, uh, and Jim was like, oh my God, I got to show you something. And this was like the first cut of the pilot for oh Scam School. Oh my God. Oh. So and from I the beginning. Just, I, actually, I was honestly like... Pissed. Oh, oh, I wanted to pitch them yeah. a, a magic show, and this yeah. guy just did it like 10 times better than me. <laughs> and now, what the hell am I going to do? That's the uh, whole point of this internship. Well, this, Brian, you got to give it to him. What do you mean? I mean, look at the chat room. Oh, dude, yeah, they're all... They're, you, you did just win the belt. I'm sorry, bro. That means you get, the, uh, you get to get blessed with this. Uh, we forgot to tell you that although our title is NSFW... Technically, we're not allowed to curse. So, congratulations oh, for, for just I didn't crossing. Know that. Yeah, well, I know. Thank you for letting me know. No, nobody ever knows. And I never forget, I remember to tell people, hey, Bonnie, you're here too. How are you? Hi. Hey, uh, good. I'm I'm in the background. Do you I know do you know what the me. game is that we're doing today? You know, I've caught some caught some You caught the, some wind? <laughs> some wind. I, I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> caught some wind, mostly for my children. Okay, good. And uh <laughs> All right, well let's let's no. do this. For those of you guys who don't know, Chris uh is in the middle of launching hey, is it live now? Is there a URL it is like live. You out? Where where do we go to? So this is uh I mean I made like a short URL on bit.ly bit.ly slash deck hyphen around hyphen game this is the game right here 
Uh, wow, that's this is it. The game is called Deck Around because uh, we all love things that sound like something dirtier. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and the the way you here's what's great about Deck Around is that you can explain it in exactly one sentence. It's a game you've been playing for a while with your friends. Is that right? Did I understand that? Yeah. Quote? So like when when I left college, we used to play just like a ghetto version of this on uh, paper, just scraps of paper and our phones and things and. The game itself is a cross between Urban Dictionary and Balderdash. All right, here, let's take a look at Urban Dictionary and Balderdash. It's white people having fun. Deck around is like... No, there's a black guy. <laughs> that him? Yeah. 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 There's no, that man's a He didn't have a good laugh, so I didn't... Terms, things like twerking, <laughs> I think got a bunch in. oven, but stuff that's really obscure, things that you've never heard before. <laughs> <laughs> and we pick out a random word. Then everyone writes a convincing sounding but completely made up definition for that word and submits it anonymously. We mix them together with the actual definition and then read them aloud. That one tiny turd that stops just before leaving the asshole that causes a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has to vote on which one they think is the real definition. Hey, there he is! Stop <laughs> <laughs> decking around and play the game. Yeah. Okay. Let's you just. Let's just. All right. That. So, so the uh, now you you mentioned specifically um, uh, Urban Dictionary. Like, is that specifically where the terms come from? No, I mean, so it's just slang from all around the web. So it's there's weird other subcultures that I grab slang from. I mean, slang is just uh, everywhere. There's like slang among uh, like extreme sports folks. There's slang among people. There's surprisingly sophisticated slang among folks who worked at diners in the 20s and 30s. They've got this like whole lexicon of of crazy words. So there's it's just a mixture of these weird, obscure words, uh, so, and so many, when, when many you get things the words, you find in When you get the words, you don't get to know the context or like you don't get the etymology of it. You just have no. to, to go with it based on what you've seen. So if, yeah, so if, if people aren't catching on from the, the video and everything, basically, uh, uh, we pick out a word, I say it aloud, everyone writes a definition that's made up but sounds convincingly like it could be the definition of the word. They all gather them together, read them aloud, with the real definition mixed in, and then everyone gets a chance to vote on which one they no. think is the real definition. No, no, so you have to try and fool people uh, into voting for your, your definition, basically. Yeah. You, you said that you've been playing this forever. There has to be a treasure trove that you found for this game. Like, where did these, where, where, where did the initial definitions come from when it was just the germ of an idea? Yeah, I'm telling you, like, the treasure trove is just just randomly going through Urban Dictionary. You can't pick the most popular terms, though everyone knows those. They're like, you've got to find the one that's got like 14 votes. You know, these these weird things that a, a couple high schoolers came up with. You know, that's like that's the, the golden stuff. And there, I mean, there's just so much, so much of that everywhere that uh, it, it took a long time to develop this whole thing. Okay, so people are starting to get it right now. The chat realm's already begging for you to throw them a word so that they can come up with the definition. Why don't we, uh, do you have one that you haven't already fed to Justin and I? Yeah, so let's get a random one out of here. Uh, by the way, people are always saying, wouldn't it be great if there was an NSFW-specific version? I don't know. All I'm going to say is if you go to bit.ly slash deck dash around dash game and contribute, uh, what's your goal? You have like some lofty goal of all of... $3,700? <laughs> yeah, so I mean, all I'm trying to do is I have to make a certain size of an order for it to, for the economics to make sense uh, for the prices. This that is, I'm this is for like about, offset so. printing. Like you can get print on demand done, but it's stupidly expensive. You want to get enough to where you can do offset printing and make them look good. Right, right, exactly. So, um, so this is, um, you know, so. Basically, that's that's. All right, what you're look, let, let's cut to the chase. Normally, yeah. normally I'd take a while to to get it out of you, but before <laughs> we went live, you're all like, "Hey, man, I have an idea for the NSFW audience. Go ahead and spill it." What were you talking all right, about? Okay, so basically, I I think just based on the show, you guys are gonna love this game. It's really excellent. Uh, and so basically, I want to create a special deck that will just go to NSFW listeners. Yeah. Uh, so it'll be an additional thirty-five rounds of the game. 
that'll uh, go out. But we have to hit a certain number. We have to hit 50 backers that that back the the the, the, the buy 50 full backers? Are you kidding? All right, they're already shouting. So take my go. money. Just this so everybody a- understands, if we hit the 50 backer mark, me and Brian will do work for free for <laughs> you. <laughs> And Chris is profit. <laughs> yes, that's fine. But the point, look, at the end of the day, if I get a, a version, of, first of all, I loved Balderdash as a kid, and I love talking filthy as a grown up. Uh, and so, to me, <laughs> this is the perfect blend of the two come together. And the fact, the fact that we can make that happen, fifty backers is nothing. We can make this happen. Yeah, I mean, just make sure slash... that you're they're backing the full game now. Like, there's a PDF up there, but come on, I mean. We, we need a serious, I mean, we, I want to get this game in people's hands, you know, not print them at home all ghetto. So let's let's do this for real. Well, well here, I'm going to go ahead and donate 50 right now. Here, Justin, you go ahead and take the lead. I'm going to donate money right okay, now. Okay, so here's the deal. On the are going to not only have a, a demo of Chris's game, I, me and Brian have both been given uh, uh, a bunch of cards that uh, we have filled out our filthy definitions. Well, not necessarily filthy, but probably filthy <laughs> definitions <laughs> for it. Uh, we will also, as this is uh, the eve of my short story collection, Go Home, Santa, You're Drunk, we're going to be doing a cast reading of one of the stories, What Makes Santa Cry, live for you here tonight. Of course, you can go to bit.ly slash go. And then... I don't know. I don't know what else we're doing. That's all right. We, uh, that, that, that's all that's going to get started here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do secured checkout by PayPal, and then we'll get started. Um, now, what we did, what, what normally what happens is you take a moment to, what? I have requested an outdated version of PayPal. What is this horse crap? Mm. Okay, we can do this later, Brian. Uh, I, I want to donate. I want, I want this to happen. I want magic to occur. Fine. Oh, don't, I'll do it later. Don't, we, Chris, will you understand that Brian will pay after the show? I believe him. Can we just concede many, that? Many schemes on me. I believe him this time. Yes. All right, fine. And if he fine. has it, you, you, you can, you know, DM him. Okay, hey, what, done, what done and done. Uh, okay, so so first of all, what is the what is the first uh, word that's up? And, and, of course, now normally there would be a whole group of people, and, and both Justin and I would try to fool the rest of the people, but if it was only the three of us playing, I guess Bonnie could hmm? could take a guess. And, and we would get points if, if she picked one of our definitions. Oh. But I'd also like, why don't we do a version where uh, each of us gets one point, Bonnie gets two points for whichever one she does, and okay. the, the, the chat realm, whichever one they pick, is worth three points. How about that? Excellent. Sounds mm-hmm. good. Okay. So so what's the, what's the first one? So should we go into the first one here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, jump on in. First one. All right. The word is taco butt. <laughs> taco butt. Okay, so taco butt and T A C O B U T T. Okay, two separate words. All right. And so at have... this point, we'd all if we were all playing in the same room, we'd all write our definitions, but right. we've we've pre-written them. Of course, this is unfair because I know the real definition, but I, I wrote one too just to be funny. Okay, good. So here we go. All right. So the the, the following definition. Selecting. Why why don't you uh, paste into the chat room the link to the uh, to the to the uh, sure. the doc as well to the to the straw poll dot me. And we'll so, do yeah, we did a little straw poll here so the people can vote on it. See here, taco uh, Jeff butt. says, after eating peppers, you experience that in the morning. Taco butt. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's from Jeff in the chat. Uh, Hokey says, taco butt, the end result of eating too much hot sauce. <laughs> All right. Here it is. Here's okay, what we got straw poll dot me slash 774101. Right. So, okay. Taco butt. Multiple dingleberries entangled between two mm. butt cheeks, which mm. look like ground beef. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Fair <laughs> enough. That's legit. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Although I will say <laughs> this. Come something that is in the lexicon of people, I question, like, even from a personal standpoint, is that like a two-mirror job? Are you like like trying to? Like, like, how do you know if you if one has taco butt? Maybe you don't know. How do? You, why should you know? That seems maybe it's a medical diagnosis. It's something that only a doctor is able to determine whether or not you have taco butt. That has never been said amongst my group of friends. Yo, dog, let me check out and see if you got taco butt working. <laughs> you sit on like a paper towel, and it creates kind of an impression. 
Oh, there you go. So it's like you, you, you sit down oh, on your kid's like, like, like a plaster Paris, like yeah. a fossil. Yeah. Or, like Yo, or better shot. yet, you like sit on a newspaper and you rub charcoal. You do a rubbing on your own <laughs> ass and you see whether or not you have taco butt. <laughs> or you lay out Play-Doh or Silly Putty? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> then you get an impression. All right, all right what's the next definition? So number two, incorrect lesbian scissoring. Okay. Number three, diarrhea caused by cheap Mexican food. That seems to be what most of the chat room is thinking. Mm -hmm. Number four, when a girl's pants are tight and low enough that her butt cheeks spill out resembling a taco. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll tell you what. That's that's a good one. It's practical. <laughs> All right. So the four options are: you got multiple got dingleberries, but <laughs> <laughs> multiple dingleberries, incorrect lesbian scissoring, diarrhea caused by cheap Mexican food, or when a girl's pants are tight and low enough that her butt cheeks spill out, resembling a taco. Uh, right now, they're about to they're, they're starting to vote at uh, strawpoll.me slash seven seven four one zero one. And uh, Bonnie, uh, before you look at these answers, what are you thinking? I, I really have to go with the uh, the girls' butt spilling out. Girls' butt spilling yes, out. Yes, okay. I, I feel. Uh, all right, uh, Justin. What about you? You know, I, I would actually have to agree with that. And obviously, it's it's a little. Uh, you know, we know at least which one we did. Um, but I, I have to go with, with with the with the taco butt with the with the girls' uh, butt cheeks. Spilling out in a manner that makes it look like a delightful Mexican treat. <laughs> I'm gonna go with diarrhea caused by cheap Mexican food. Mm. That's that. That one seems to be what what they, we we essentially had phone a friend happen uh, beforehand, <laughs> and that's what everyone went for. So, uh, all right, will you, and and the chat realm uh, goes with it. Looks like with a margin of 53 percent. When a girl's butt cheeks are spilling out of her tight <laughs> pants, <laughs> resembling a taco. Uh, Chris. Why you have you been the chat room has been duped. I can't believe it. Oh. Diarrhea caused by cheap Mexican food is the correct answer. Woo! Really? All right, all right. Take us, take us first from. Uh, tell us the ones that aren't the winners. That that what came? Oh, with? I should have like built it up. It's I all see. right. So, so you'll get it right from now on. <laughs> okay. So multiple dingleberries. That was me. <laughs> uh, that didn't get any votes. All right. That's good. You want to know? Good. I actually thought about that. You could just take a picture. You're just reaching around. You're taking yeah. Yeah. You do, you do you're a double check in to see if you there's guys some broke it down. You guys destroyed my definition. This That's, is no fun. It's good. All right. All right. And then, uh, yeah, so incorrect lesbian scissoring came from Justin. Okay. And the and last then, two? Uh, the last two, diarrhea caused by cheap Mexican food is indeed correct. And then uh, Brian had the brilliant winner when a girl's pants are tight and low enough that her buck cheeks spill out. Resigned. That's a point for you, so Brian, good. but I'll tell you this. There's going to be somebody in this chat room tonight that will be entering in taco butt in the search form of porno. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, by the rules, I, and we don't have to stick to my rules, but that's six points because I got all of you. I got I got the chat realms three, I got the Bonnie's two, and I got your number one. So that's... Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, brag about I, it. I take... I am. You, know, you also, you're... Brian, you guessed it right yourself, so you get two points for that. Oh, <laughs> that's all right, so I take yeah. a little offense to the fact that you would come up with that definition, seeing as how I'm your wife. Are you what? trying to say something here? Wait, are you, are you, are you, don't try to are taco butter. Ta too tight? Taco butter. <laughs> <laughs> are my yoga pants what? too tight? Say, What's well, going on here? Uh, give me a girl with that taco butt. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. did, did you guys? Did you guys hear about this Lily Allen video where she talks about her baggy vagina? Yes, oh, I loved it. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't seen it. Is it safe? Can, can we? Can we play? Well, no, it, it's a, it's it's basically it's a it's like her parody of the blurred lines video where she has in the same balloons that Robin Thicke has a big uh, deck, um, and in the Lily Allen video it says Lily Allen has a baggy uh, cat. <laughs> yeah, baggy vagina. You can say vagina. It's a clinical term. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Vagina, or was it the slang term for vagina? Uh, oh no, well, you're right. It was. It was a cat. It was. It was the slang term. Now that I think about it, uh, yeah. And well, I, I guess she had a kid. And like, like uh, the way I saw it this morning was like uh, the Telegraph was like, "Thank you on behalf of moms everywhere for explaining the earthquake that is childbirth." Oh my <laughs> like, god! Like, like the fact that she just owned it because like she had a kid and she's totally dressed all sexied up talking about her baggy veg. 
Right. So let's move on to the next uh, <laughs> the next hilarious <laughs> item on here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> here we go. Ready? Man. All right. Next oh, one. Man. Ready? I'm gonna skip down to. <laughs> I like this one. All right. Skip. And chat room, you guys know you're not allowed to cheat. No, no looking no, in this. No, yeah, yeah, you can find these out if you Google them. But we expect yeah. we expect you guys to play it fair. Right. So, okay, here we go. Uh, next word is tossing grits. <laughs> tossing grits. All right. And what are the options on tossing the options, grits? Uh, number one, throwing sand in a pretty girl's face at the beach. <laughs> All right. Rude. Uh, <laughs> Number two, don't tell me what to eat for breakfast, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a reasonable answer. <laughs> I don't know why it sounded so funny coming from you. You, you seem like such a, such a polite boy. Well, you yeah, you got to read him with a straight face. <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't work. <laughs> All right, Southern Sumo Wrestling. Oh, Tossing Grits. I see that. Uh, number four, shaving your body and selling the clippings on eBay or Craigslist. <laughs> I like that the sites are cited. <laughs> and it's not going to be on another site. It's not going to be at overstock.com. <laughs> All right, so what, one more time. One more time. Uh, by the way, have you posted the uh, Yeah, the so we got chat? it up here. It is um, straw poll uh, 774. Yep. 113. I'll paste it in 113. here. 113. There it is. Okay, there Sorry, we go. Not so we have uh, throwing it. sand in a pretty girl's face at the beach. Don't tell me what to eat for breakfast, bitch. <laughs> Shaving your body and selling the clippings on eBay or Craigslist or Southern Sumo Wrestling. Uh, I, I guess I'll go first um, since uh, that would put me at a disadvantage. I'm going to say don't tell me what to eat for breakfast, bitch. Okay. Committed. Uh, uh, Justin? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, throwing sand in a pretty girl's face at the beach. All right, Bonnie? I have to say, don't tell me what to eat for breakfast, bitch. All right, and now the chat realm's choice is... Oh, wow. Wow, dude. I've with... never seen an equally cut pie quite like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's Thanksgiving really is. tomorrow night. Like, just barely ahead with 38% right. of the night. votes. <laughs> Everything is like 20, 20, 24%, and then 38% for don't tell me what to eat for breakfast, bitch. Uh, all right, Chris. By the way, uh, Mitzula... In the chat room says it's eating the butt of an old southern gentleman. Oh, it's true. Do say, I do say, don't spare the tongue. Oh, oh my God. God. You can say that? Really? I mean, they get hung up on certain words, but you could say that sentence and it's okay. All right. Uh, I just, you know. we're, we're talking about the division. Heavens to Betsy. <laughs> That was the Betsy Boogie to me, Bonnie. Come on. I just feel the Slurpee before they began. Uh, all right, so Chris, walk us through this one. First of all, which go. are the fakes? All right, throwing sand in a pretty girl's face at the beach came from Mr. Brushwood. What? Oh, Ryan, you got me. That's yeah, so that, that was uh, I guess I got I got you and Bonnie, so that's three more points for me. Wait, wait, no, I went for the break. Oh no, wait. Yeah. So I, I just yeah. got Justin is all I got. Yeah, one just point. All right, that's fine. One point. That's all I need. Uh, so uh, Southern Sumo Wrestling was Justin's submission. All so right. that leaves uh, don't tell me what to eat for breakfast and shaving your body and selling them on eBay and shaving your body is the wrong answer oh. or the right answer I mean, whoa, whoa. <laughs> i got so confused you, you're doing so great I, I, I you guys I, I said i pulled this this silly don't tell me what to eat for breakfast bitch shenanigans <laughs> and we all bought it so so that means oh, you you just got like what uh, six points then right because you got chat realm you got bonnie and you got me so that's six points for you that is correct there all we right. go. i'm sorry i'm doing math i can't add all right there we go Chris? Tact and decorum that TMZ is known for. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. We're definitely going to play more of this. Let's take a quick moment, though, to thank our sponsors. Justin, who's paying for this episode of NSFW? Hey, everybody, it's Jerry here. We just thought you were watching an episode, huh? Fooled you. Skype stuff was so bad. We had to re-record this ad, which is why I'm talking to you here in sunny South Florida and not on the show. 
It's different. But you want to know what's the same? Squarespace.com. That's what the hell's the same. Squarespace is the best website platform ever. In fact, I faced myself a challenge. I had to release a book. I didn't know how to do it. Man, I'm a babe in the woods. I don't know what the hell I'm doing out here. I need a website to let people know about it. I need to build a mailing list. I need to sell the thing. Squarespace.com got everything done for me. Look at this right now, man. It automatically fits on any device that it's on. I'm on a iPhone right now. Check that out. Boom. Can't really see it because it's in the glare. But look at that. Go home, sand in your trunk. It's right there. How about on, a, on an iPad? Huh? A little iPad action? Is that what you want? How about this? Boom. It fits the same way. That's what we're looking at. Here's, here's what you do. You go to squarespace.com. No credit card required. You're going to start building your website. When you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure you use the offer code NSFW11, 10% off, and you show your support for this show. Whether or not the Skype connection sucks, you are showing your support, which probably says more about you than it does about me or Squarespace because they're doing their job. I'll tell you that. Squarespace, everything you need to create an exceptional website. Hosting included, search engine optimized. Their code is beautiful. I got to look at this code, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Woo! Some good looking code. I mean, I don't want to get too graphic. That is some code. Mm! Squarespace. Thank you very, very much. NSFW11. You know what else is exceptional? Is the response to bit.ly slash... Uh, deck slash around, or I'm sorry, deck dash around dash game. Uh, that's phenomenal, man. Uh, so far, what's the response here? I'm going to go ahead and go there. B-I-T dot L-Y slash deck around game. Look at that, bro. We're already up to, we already got 10 backers at $50 a pop. How many do we need to get our own version? We need 50. 50 back? All right. Well, all right. I'll hustle up. Keep going. Keep playing the game. <laughs> do you know why? More people will respond. Oh, Lord. Know, do you know why I think it's been so well responded to? Why? It's because I noticed when he was shuffling the deck in the promo that he had magician hands. Oh, you do? Yeah, you do. You totally you have magician see it. Hands. Yeah, it was, are, are you a member of the Magic Castle? I absolutely am. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, the magician hands thing, like, my friend Scott was shooting the video, and he was like, dude, this isn't a fucking magic demo. Just, <laughs> I'm sorry, I cussed again. Hey! <laughs> Woo! What? What? Magician hands. Magician hands. Magician hands. Magician glands. What? Oh, yeah. All right, there we go. We're good. Hey, listen, Chris, okay? <laughs> I'm going to write down all the words you can't say on this show and then put it in a sealed envelope <laughs> and put it for 30 days. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, all right, Chris. Let uh, so 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 he, he was hammering on you from having magician hands. Yeah, because you know when you're just holding a deck of cards, yeah. you just start, rip, you know, you start doing passes you start, and all you know, Charlie A yeah. cuts. And <laughs> exactly. you're, you're doing the Daryl hot shot cut and whatnot. And they're like, oh my god, would you stop, please? Uh, yeah. All right, all right. Give us another word here. I'm so loving this go game. On Keep here. going. Moving on. Next word: pleasure garden. A pleasure garden. All right. What are the options? Pleasure garden. Uh, number one, when a girl's pubic region is quaffed like the royal gardens. Wait, what is the royal gardens quaffed like? I don't know. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I'm supposed to explain. All right, next. Um, a traditional English garden in which undocumented hired help <laughs> masturbates. <laughs> They got to go somewhere, I guess, right? <laughs> Look, man, we all got to go number three sometimes. All right, go ahead. Uh, number three, having sex on a salad bar. <laughs> is, is is called the pleasure garden? <laughs> the pleasure garden. All right, all right. <laughs> By the way, Bonnie, four. you want to, you want to. I, I think the Pokey Joes is closed. <laughs> you want to go have the pleasure garden? <laughs> Number four, advanced public parks that have rides, entertainment, and exotic animals. Okay, so uh, have, have, have you pasted the uh, the website? Yeah, we in? got it. So it is uh, it is seven seven four one one two. 
Uh, okay, so that right. is, <laughs> is strawpoll.me774112. Uh, all right, here we go. We The options again are when a girl's pubic region is quaffed like the Royal Gardens, traditional English garden in which undocumented hired help masturbates, <laughs> having sex on a salad bar, advanced public parks that have rides, entertainment, and exotic animals. Uh, Justin, I'm gonna. I, I guess, um, or I, I guess, really, it was it was Chris who won. So I guess I still have honors. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. go with advanced public parks that's, that have rides, entertainment, and exotics animals. All righty, Justin. Uh, Justin, yeah. I'm I'm going to go with that as well. Bonnie, the choices again: pubic region, <laughs> quaff like the Royal no. Gardens. Traditional just, English garden, I'm which undocumented hired help masturbates. I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling sad for Chris because he, he said that he, says like he didn't know what a pleasure garden was. Or royal Have, gardens were. Having so like, sex on mean? a salad bar. <laughs> <laughs> advanced public parks that have rides, entertainment, and exotic animals. You know what? I'm going to go for the sex on a salad bar. Sex on a salad bar is what Bonnie picks. It's alliteration. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, and then finally, the chat realm goes looking at the results here. Oh, look at wow. that Wow. Look at this, man. Right now, it is all it is a dead heat. 43 to 39. Uh, I, it's got to go to a girl's pubic region quaffed like the Royal Gardens, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. I think so, too. Chris. All right. Here we go. Uh, when a girl's pubic region is quaffed, that was me. <laughs> so I, tried, I had to. I had to play cool. <laughs> yeah, dude. All right. So, all right. So, so that one was you, that's and that's what points, that's right? what Chat Realm says. Three more points for you. Yeah. You're up to wow. nine points. And then uh, the remaining three here. Bonnie and Brian must be on the same wavelength or they've done something before together that, that they, they haven't told anyone about because he wrote having sex on a salad bar. Ah. <laughs> and you picked it. it. Ah. I picked it. Ah. <laughs> and then, uh, and Justin, you were correct. Advanced public parks that have rides, entertainment. Wow. It's just the straight up, the plain definition. Pleasure. Well done. Right on. All right. And so, so, and so, Brian, you get two points for that too, right? You guessed that one. Uh, yeah. No. I, yeah. Okay. So I guessed right. So that's two points, and I got two points for seducing Bonnie and then marrying her and then seducing her live on the show. <laughs> Uh, all just right. thinking about taco butt on the salad bar. <laughs> taco butt on the salad bar. It depends taco on salad. which definition of taco butt you want. Not the dingleberries, that's for sure. Uh, all right, Chris, take us into the next one, bud. Next one. All right, oregano salsa. Oregano salsa. Let me paste in the chat realm. Thing. All right. I like your style. Oregano that way, salsa. That way we'll accrue more votes. People are Get saying taco salad salt. butt. Uh, Brian? Yes, sir. Can you do me a favor and bring up the ads? Because I'm going to try. Uh, hang on. I heard uh, bring up the ads, and then you're going to try to do something that I couldn't hear what. Bring up the ads. Because I'm gonna, you're going to do the ads, and I'm going to duck out and restart my computer. Okay. All right. All right. Well, well let's do this. Uh, here, we'll take a moment. We, we rarely do this to do two ads back to back. Justin's going to go. Know, ahead. Just No, we can do the next one. Just bring it up. Oh, okay. All right. I uh, I missed that. Okay. All right, Chris, take us in the next one. Go ahead. Uh, you mean? Wait. What do you mean? Go read, we'll go through the definition yeah. now. No, no, no. Well, first of all, what's the? Oh, oregano salsa. Yeah, yeah. Oregano Walk salsa. The definition. I pasted it in the chat room, so that's ready to go. Here we go. Definition number one: a fresh pico de gallo salsa in which cilantro is replaced with chopped pot leaves. All right. Mm. Number two, when someone gets so high that they can dance flawlessly to Latin American music. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number three, fake weed. Yeah. And number four, what is created when an Italian and a Mexican make out? <laughs> it is oregano salsa. <laughs> Uh, all right. I guess since I'm in the lead, I'll go first. Uh, I'm going to say what's created when an Italian and a Mexican make out. All right. Noted. Justin? What was the first one? The first one was a fresh pico de gallo salsa in which cilantro is replaced with chopped pot leaves. It 
Uh oh, we had a lag. It, just we, we had a lag, so I don't know what you said. That's it. That's the one. All right, he that's says he says that one. Bonnie, yeah, what about you? I'm going to go with the uh, the pot reference. Well, there's two. Which pot? <laughs> there's oh, three. wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> yeah. There were three. <laughs> there, there were three pot references, Bonnie. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I think, I think I was, if you could, that I would be a good I would way have to covered spread. the spread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the trifecta here. Let's go with uh, the cilantro is replaced with pot leaves. All right. And then the chat realm, they are going to go with... Number one with 46 votes is a fresh pico de gallo salsa <laughs> in which cilantro is replaced with chopped pot leaves. Uh, Chris, why don't you walk us through the answer here, buddy? All right, here we go. So uh, fake weed was Justin's. Nobody voted yeah. for that. That's uh, true. When someone gets so high that they can dance flawlessly to Latin American music was my submission, and nobody that's, voted for that either. It's a really good, it's a really good one. <laughs> you got 19 votes from the chat room on that one. <laughs> so the only two remaining are the pico de gallo salsa and um, when an Italian and Mexican make out. And the make out sesh is the correct answer. So Brian Whoa, just, really? just swept. Yeah. Mm. Because I knew... That a fresh pico de gallo salsa in which cilantro is replaced with chopped pot leaves was yours. Was mine. Yeah. <laughs> Way in this game, right? <laughs> He's kicking ass. I was bored to lie to all of you. All right, Justin, you go ahead and reboot your computer. We'll take a moment to thank the folks who make NSFW possible. And of course, we're talking about our buddies over at Pro XPN. Chris, you ever use Pro XPN? No. Tell you me ever, about it. You ever use a little thing called the internet? Absolutely. Uh, well, here's the thing. Uh, everyone's watching you. Unless you use our friends over at ProXPN. Look, here's oh, the thing. thank God. ProXPN is a global virtual private network, a VPN that works with almost any internet connection. It contains a secure encrypted tunnel which all of your online data passes back and forth. Any op application can work with ProXPN, including your web browser, your email, file sharing, instant messaging. Look, man. I'm not saying that you use uh, BitTorrent to download the latest uh, release of Red Hat Linux, and I'm not going to say that you're worried that your dumb ISP might see that you're using the BitTorrent protocol and throttle you without any due cause and maybe give you one of your six strikes, even though you don't deserve it. But I am going to say that if you use an X-Pro XBN, guess what, bro? They don't know. They don't know nothing. And it's Do they do that? Uh, yeah, man, dude. It's uh, don't, ISPs are all jerks. They're all jerks oh. and evil people. Plus, also... I'm not going to say that you really wanted to watch, like, you know, the new Doctor Who or, uh, from what I hear, the new uh, Sherlock coming out. And maybe you try to go to the iPlayer and all of a sudden it's like, oh, burp, burp, you're in America. Sorry. Chim, chim, taru. You can't see any of this. <laughs> Guess what? Pro XPN <laughs> is like a TARDIS because all of a sudden it just, you, you're, you're like, whoosh, whoosh. That's my impression of the TARDIS sound. Whoosh. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, hello, governor. You're here in England with us. Come on in. And then you get to watch your Sherlock and your all you that stuff. So you select like a location? Yeah. You're like, you where want... in the world do you want everyone to think you're from? And then bloop, bloop, there you are. And you're able to watch it. In fact, a bunch of people, I, I ain't going to say that a bunch of people in Canada were using it to watch Netflix in the United States. But hypothetically, that would be possible. Mm. Look. Here's the thing. You get to bypass internet filtering. You get to bypass geolocation services. You get to uh, make your re internet connection region-free. Works for Windows and Mac. Works in your iOS or Android device. There's a new Pro XPN app for Android in the Google Play Store that supports OpenVPN. Uh, World-class customer support. Steve Gibson, right here on the Twit Network, gave it a awesome review on security now. Here's what we want you to do. We want you to go to proxpm.com slash twit for more information guess what normally uh normally 9.95 a month which is reasonable that's like one beer at an airport i'm told as somebody who drinks beer and goes to airports or 74.95 for an entire year special offer use promo code nsfw and stick a middle finger in that normal price because you my friend are going to get 20 percent off the lifetime of your account that's less than five bucks a month on the yearly plan if you're not satisfied Cancel within seven days. Say thanks for seven days of free nonsense, jerks, and then run away with your with your with your uh, taco butt hanging out and uh, 
and leave them alone. That's proxpn.com slash twit. Sign up with promo code NSFW. We thank ProXPN for their support of NSFW. Justin's going to be back here any seconds. But in the meantime, Chris, uh, what's that URL again? That is bit.ly slash deck dash around dash game. Boy, I should have made a simpler one, huh? Uh, yeah, too many dashes. That's fine. <laughs> deck dash around dash game because we just love names of card games that sound an awful lot like uh, like penises. Uh, <laughs> dude, this is great. We're almost we're almost a quarter of the way to the goal right now. I feel yeah. like I should go ahead and contribute right now. Oh, come on. Excellent. No, all right, all right. Did it, would it help if I sort of went through pe with people what, what exactly this thing is? Uh, what do you mean? What go ahead. What exactly you're getting here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show, show us so all this, this is stuff. So I mean, the box is super cool. The graphic design, I think, is very, very well done. Yeah. And fancy. It looks like something you'd see in like oh. Urban Outfitters or something. Sure. It's actually, Brian, you may appreciate this. It's got like a faux book texture to it. How and, many? Uh, how many books? Or, uh, how many cards do you get inside? You this? get. Uh, you get. Um, there's a hundred, more than a hundred rounds you can play with this game. So there's only 90 black cards in Cards Against Humanity. There's more rounds in my independent game than like this dominant yeah. beast. You hear that, Cards Against Humanity? Shots <laughs> fired. <Yeah. laughs> Lisinski um, to Cards Against Humanity. <laughs> Way to short shrift, everyone, jerks. My game has more cards. And infinite possibilities, too. You're not refined to their, their silly pre-written cards. You can write whatever you want. <laughs> uh, wait, wait. Can can uh, do you have cards that you can just write down whatever you want on? No, I mean you write your own submissions instead of like choosing oh, from a hand yeah, of yeah, limited no, of course, possibilities. Of yeah, right? yeah. Uh, actually, Thanks. that is that is a really good point because after you've played Cards Against Humanity a few times, it's like you're just begging for the Hitler card. It, right? it actually is like uh, a huge difference between the two games because, um, like, for, for one thing, um, Cards Against Humanity is written in a specific tone, and a Sometimes you just get kind of sick of that tone, or you're, you're not in the mood for it. Right. Um, and, and B, sometimes you you're, you want to play a game with people that wouldn't necessarily, you know, like that kind of attitude, or just you know, if, if the tone of your party isn't isn't the right thing, then you, you let you know, this game you let the people at the party guide the direction because if everyone exactly. wants to play it clean, they can or right or civilized, wait, whatever. Wait, wait, Somewhat civilized. Is the game clean? Uh, it's as dirty as you want to make it, and it's pretty from... damn dirty. Um, there is, uh, you can clean out the deck. Sort of, people have done that with Cards Against Humanity too. So yeah, I mean, there, there's clean words in it, and if you if you if you choose to play it with your family, I don't know why you do no, that. But, that, but that's but, what uh, separates it all... from other from like Baldur Dash, right? Is that like it has this gear of right. urban dictionary filth that you will not get in Baldur Dash. Yeah, like, like that mean, is the, Dash, the defining factor. Like, People who are good at Balderdash, like, understand, like, Latin and ex advanced parts of the English language. This is just, like, any dude can play this game. This is the everyman's Balderdash, you know? It's just, um, it's yeah, more man. fun. You don't have to be no hoity-toity asshat. Come on, man. <laughs> just just go. Because that asshat may not understand pop culture. Okay, look, uh, coming up, <laughs> I, I, I want to play a couple more rounds of this, but then we have breaking news that I want to share with Justin that we have not talked about before any mm. of this, and then we're going to have a live cre recreation of, uh, of, of a piece of beautiful art that Justin wrote. Uh, give us the next word, Chris. Here we go. Quiet Achiever. <laughs> Quiet Achiever. All right, have you posted the, uh, the URL? Let's get that up there. He's doing that now. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, real quick, why don't we check in on the score here? Folks are folks are keeping track, but I just want to make sure everyone knows. Let's not. Ryan has 21 freaking points right now. All right, that's fine. But he, he's just now going to realize the the real rules of deck around is once you hit 21 exactly, you, you go back to, to zero. zero. Yeah, so I have zero <laughs> points. Unfortunately, I hit 21. That's the house rules we play on an yeah. SFW. Once you Sorry, hit 21, bro. 21 reset. It's a bummer. I I hit the 21 reset. So so I funny, have you zero. actually get the 21 reset card. <laughs> Everybody can guess what that means. Yeah, sure, sure. That's that's T1. Okay. So uh, uh, wait, I, I just read that in the chat room. Maybe I'm mistaken that he has 21 points is that no. person really keeping track 21 no, yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't think so yeah i'm pretty sure i do it's, oh my god I, i've been winning up with points it makes sense why uh, don't we skip that then i think okay, i've got no. like nine and justin has two so. yeah no so i hit the 21 reset i'm back to zero ready let's go <laughs> no, 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 no. don't take this away you're <laughs> no, running free baby thank you You're as long as you are free willie my heart has a home 
<laughs> All right, let's do this. Here we go. First definition. An orgasm that inspires outrageous facial expressions, but no sound. This is silent achiever, is what quiet, it is. Quiet achiever. Right? Okay. Right. Wait, the quiet achiever or silent? Quiet. The quiet achiever. Okay. And did, did you post? Okay, you did. 774116 in straw poll. Got it. Uh, an orgasm that inspires outrageous facial inspection er, in expressions, but no sound. Okay. Uh, number two, a uh, secret Al Qaeda cell of librarians. <laughs> the silent achievers. Got it. All right. Uh, number three, achieving orgasm stealthily during class. <laughs> oh All right. Uh, number four, a person capable of farting without sound, but still creating a deadly stench. Oh, man, this is good. Wow, all four of those are great. Mm. Um, uh, Justin, I, I, or I guess I'll go first. Uh, I'm going to say orgasm that inspires outrageous facial expressions, but no sound. Okay, Brian. And Justin? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the, uh, the, the silent but animated cumsy. <laughs> all right, Bonnie? Oh, the toot. <laughs> Bonnie, I just sense that you're you're not voting for the dirty ones because you're afraid of like endorsing them or something. Isn't no, I getting that? I I have children and they've been about the silent achiever. I believe <laughs> that you is, believe. I, it is the right. fart. She, you've of, you've been on I the believe, receiving end of a yeah, silent achiever. Yeah, I believe in this answer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, and then finally, going to the chat room, chat room, looking at the results. Chat realm says. A person capable of farting without sound but still creating a deadly stench. Uh, oh, man. Beating only by one. Oh, wait. Tied. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Breaking news. 44. See? Breaking. <laughs> 44 <laughs> votes. 45 <laughs> votes to 41. Achieving orgasm stealthily during oh, class boy. is the silent achiever. 46 votes to 42. See, that's you want to know why that's not true, though? Because there's really not a lot. And I, I'm I'm actually contemplating going to the fart one because <laughs> there's not a lot. What nicknames are there for orgasms? Apparently the silent, the quiet achiever. <laughs> I mean, that's like they don't exist. There's a million ones for farts. Farts got a way better publicity it's engine just a than uh, game. Um, All right. So, so, so what, what are you, what are you going to do? Wait, what's, what's your, what's your call? Are you going to change? You going to swap to fart? Uh, yeah. You are. Okay. All right. Swapping to fart. So <laughs> fart swap. Swap to fart. Okay. Put that in the deck, dude. I'm just handing you these. All right. Uh, Chris, okay. I walk think us through Chat this. Realm was onto something when they said that a secret uh, Al Qaeda cell of librarians was not the answer. That was that was Justin's submission. That was good for a laugh. All right. We're gonna follow this entire game on. I don't know how to play Baldur Dash. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the uh, Brian, I got your votes, but with my orgasm definition. What? But I lost. I lost Justin. This is BS. You've cheated. Oh, no. So okay. So so you had orgasm that inspires outrageous facial expressions. So you get points for that. Exactly. Justin though jumped uh, and went to farting. So the question is. I mean, I'm out, but... Is the chat realm right? Or are, are, are... Well, so what did the chat realm settle on? They settled on achieving orgasm stealthily yeah. during class. So it's between chat realm and Bonnie and Justin's mm -hmm. selection. And Bonnie and Justin nailed it. A person Whee! can't told you. I told you. That's sound. <laughs> right. Nobody right. makes nicknames for ejaculates. Exactly. <laughs> this is true. Which means that what did chat room vote for? That voted for for Mr. Brushwood over there. Jeez, man. Yeah, yeah three uh -huh. points on the board wow. after the 21-point reset. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, all right, all right. Give us another one. Let's go. Should we keep going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real quick. Let's wrap it I up. I didn't do it. Last one. All right. All right. Beef walk. I'm sorry, what? Beef, beef walk. walk. Beef so walk. And what's not, the... Not like a walk, like a walk. So B E. E F, two E's. <laughs> w A L K. W A L K. Yeah. Two right. separate words. Here we go. And wait, hold on. What's the what's the 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 straw poll? Ish. I missed this one. Oh! Oh, this is yeah. triple threat. Triple threat. Uh, this is the yes. triple threat. Is triple threat. Uh, uh. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So what, do you guys? 
guys like get taken off the air if no. I do it so many times or something? Like what happens? <laughs> Look, we had we had um we've had a we number of curious characters on, on the air. <laughs> <laughs> Less frequently, but <laughs> you both in the chat room are already calling you the white Corey Coleman. <laughs> 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 Amazing. They are excited. You were local. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the straw poll going here. All right. So the straw poll for Beef Walk is at 774 243. 243. All right. Here we go. Go ahead. And the uh the definitions submitted were okay. Number one. When one puts their ish over their head Whoa! to reveal Ago, Chris Lazinski came to plug his Kickstarter. Oh, all right, like, all right, go ahead, just, just when, substitute a word. When one puts their garbage <laughs> over their head to reveal a fat gut, and duck walks around. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you put you put their s word over their head to reveal a fat gut, and duck walks around. All right, number two. Walking away from a group so you can fart in peace. Ah, oh, see, this goes back to Justin's thing. Mm -hmm. Number three, leaving work <laughs> to buy a hot dog on the street for lunch. I kind of love that one. <laughs> no, number four, uh, to leisurely stroll with male genitalia exposed. Wait, that's a that's the beef walk. Yeah, beef walk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's when one puts their s word over their head to reveal fat gut and duck walks around, walking away from the group so you can fart in plate peace, leaving work to buy a hot dog on the street for lunch, or to leisurely stroll with male genitalia exposed. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, I guess I just won, so I guess I'll go for. I'm I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm going to go with to leisurely stroll with male genitalia exposed. All right, Brian, Justin, what do you think? Uh, I think this one is, uh, yet again, another fart one. <laughs> We're going to go ahead with uh, walking away from a group so you can fart in peace. I also would like to say, just out of nowhere, because I have no idea who wrote what, that theoretically the first one's supposed to be shirt over their heads. <laughs> I'm pretty sure too. <laughs> I didn't read it as a typo, but I was wondering why they used the S word when when shirt could have really like, worked. All of a sudden, all of a sudden that party got way more tame just instantly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, Double check. That's what I said. I proved it. I didn't no, know when. No, you... I said that was me. That was on me. <laughs> I didn't know when you type, you could have Tourette. Okay. <laughs> All right, Bonnie. Which one of these do you think is Guys, it? Uh, I'm, puts I... their shirt over their head to reveal a fat gut and duck walks around, walking away from the group so you can fart in peace, walking, leaving work to buy a hot dog on the street for lunch, or to leisurely stroll with male genitalia exposed. I don't think I have ever done a beef walk, but I think I've seen a beef walk. <laughs> I got to go with male genitalia exposed walking around. All right. Around. And the Pretty chat sure. realm goes uh, with, wow, yeah, yeah. with 70 votes. Number one pick to leisurely stroll with male genitalia <laughs> exposed. Uh, Chris, what's the answer on this one? All right, here we go. Um, I think we know which one was Justin's. Yes, when somebody puts their shirt over their head. <laughs> so um, I tried to trick you guys with the hot dog one. I can't believe that oh, got no votes. I was close to doing it, but <laughs> that seems like a reasonable thing. It like does. people go get a, you know a hot dog on the street for lunch. Beef no, walk. You walk hot dog beef. <laughs> That's why, your problem. If it was like not... to go get uh, some shawarma, the the pork maybe. dog. Yeah, but it's sure. not what so am I doing? That, I'm an that idiot. You're right. A... There was a flaw. <laughs> All um, right. So, uh, so Justin voted for walking away from a group so you can fart in peace, and then uh, the chat Brian and Bonnie wrote it, wrote, voted for to leisurely stroll with male genitalia exposed, which is what Justin wrote. No. Uh, yeah. Oh, hold on. Wait. What's that? 
Who wrote Justin that one? Justin wrote the leisurely stroll Man, with male that's, genitalia. That's weird because I could have sworn that Justin this. wrote the. Yeah, the no, I did not write that. Oh, my bad. That was Mr. Schwood. Hey. Wait, you voted for your own? Uh, damn straight. I was trying to you lead, lead you guys. Whole, I was trying to. Oh, I was trying to. On who wrote what? Yeah, dude. I totally. I lured you into my trap. You're like you, you tricked me so the... badly I... that I forgot who wrote what. <laughs> I have played. Balderdash with Brian, and he used to do that all the time. I know. <laughs> you stinker! It is a fart. It's, it's a fart. No, it's, it's not. It's it's wait. to le- Oh wait, I mean it is a fart. It is. It is a fart. But but I got you to pick leisurely stroll yeah, with male genitalia. Look how effective did. that was at skewing chat realm. Yeah. I think he I think he pulled it on. Uh, that's the problem is I can only do that once, or can I? Hmm. So, uh, so there, yeah, the real definition is walking away so you can fart in peace. So that gets Justin two points for that, too. Whoa. Uh, hey, right. hey, look at that. <laughs> so it only puts me within 75 of Brian. <laughs> I think we can all crown Brian the winner. Yay! All right, all right, all right. Well, let's wrap this thing up. Uh, Justin, look, I, I got breaking news for you real quick, and I want um, – I want Chris Lisinski to be kind of an arbiter, a judge on this. Mm. Let me let me show you a little clip from I don't know if you know Justin, but there's a little show called uh, called Pete Holmes. Pete Holmes has a show. Are you familiar with this? Uh, yeah, no, it's on after Conan, correct? Yeah. Well, let's take a look at a random segment called Joe and Noah's List of Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nipples and lips. Nipples and lips is a terrible dog food. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no hobo. hobo. That's a good one. That's when, um, like, you want to borrow money from a friend, but you don't want him to think you're home. Enough. Right. Yeah. Like, if I was like, Joe, can I, can I borrow five dollars? What? Oh, no hobo. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so about that. Um, Let's go on the next. Yeah, one. we don't. Uh, number one. Way to way to screw up the bit that you stole from us with uh, with a soft response. Way to, way to get a pity laugh out of what's pure gold from our our playbook. I mean, number one, to be fair, I mm. think without connection, uh, that was a pun in a childish Gambino song before we started joking about it. So I, well, I, I don't think we lay any actual claims to No Hobo, except for the fact that all the fans of the Pete Holmes show can go ahead on over and buy the No Hobo shirts at scamstuff.com. <laughs> That's right. So Scam- what's, this, what's the story? Give me the background here. Oh, I, like 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 we went off on a whole side jag and it shows up on our uh, our Billboard number one comedy album, Night Attack Live, where yeah. we talked about the whole idea of, uh, of of no hobo replacing no homo, where we talked about all the things that you could do before like no hobo was said, uh, uh, including like you know it's like uh, well I I made it from Memphis all the way to Petaluma on the silver rails without paying a dime, no hobo. <laughs> Uh, or, you know, I, I can make three kinds of chili with no beans, no no hobo. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, we went way more gritty with it. Like, we were, like, it was not, like, a thing that you would normally say. It'd be, like, if you were actually living, like, a transient lifestyle uh, or, or some equivalent, you could let people know that you weren't actually, uh, you know, living a life without, you know, uh, a home. <laughs> Now, did you yes. guys become a, a or, or did this become a, a trending topic on on Twitter? On Twitter, well, I mean, as Justin pointed out, it doesn't matter because it predates us, so we can't really right, cla- lay claim right. to it. Mm. However, it's just a little suspicious that it hits the number one comedy album, and all of a sudden, some people are saying it on some comedy show. Good point, man. Mm. Wow. I, mean, I don't know. Do you really do, do you want to no. do you want to set phases no. to kill on I, the Pete no. Holmes show? It I, seems I, like I, a good I, show. No, no, no. It, it is a good show, and there's zero chance that they actually listened to, to Night Attack Live. <laughs> right. Uh, and I'm stole just that like, wow. You think they actually sat Live? down and listened to you? <laughs> what, what's is it a good show? Have you guys seen? I haven't, I haven't watched it yet. Pete Holmes is a great guy, though. No, no, no. I I, I loved all of his uh, X Men uh, uh, bits where he's firing all the other X Men, including Wolverine and so on. It's I mean, it's funny stuff. I like yeah. it. He's the uh, E-Trade baby, isn't he? Wait, did you say E-Trade baby? Yeah, he or the, the baby with you know that those commercials with the baby E-trade that baby. Uh, you don't know the E-Trade baby, Brian? No, no, no. Okay, uh, what's funny is when he said that, I was like, what? He's rich? 
He's a trust fund child. Is that I what you're saying? What <laughs> it took me a second to realize you're talking about. I didn't realize he actually played the e, the E Trade baby. I didn't realize right. that's what you were saying. It'll change the way that you hear his comedy, knowing that. That's awesome. It's All just right. straight up his voice, and it's just weird. Anyway, well, that's fine. Look, I'm not saying we need to declare well, like, war. Did did the No Hobo stuff actually make the album? Yeah. No. 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 Uh, I know it was recorded. I don't remember it making oh. the album. Oh. I don't know. Mm. That's a good question. So uh, FLS Carnage That's says hilarious. it didn't. Oh. <laughs> oh. In which yeah. case, that all I could say is the depth of their steelery is even worse than we ever dared they're fear. I know. They're, they're so good. good, they got our private recordings, and that's what they're stealing I mean, from. More, more specifically, would be, like, when we first hit it, we did a ton of, like, no hobo hashtag stuff, and we retweeted a bunch. So if it's, like, somebody follows somebody who follows somebody who retweeted something funny, then maybe. But even then, that was months ago. That was months and months and months ago. Yeah, man. All I got to say is that, Mm, they definitely should buy the T-shirt. I mean, we're, look, just buy the T-shirt. That's all we're saying. <laughs> it's yeah. fine. Steal our joke. Just, just buy the T-shirt. <laughs> Listen, all I want to be—that's a very big show. It does very well on a major cable network. Me and you, Megan, we're just the dudes outside the stadium selling fake mer merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. That sign hawking unlicensed no hobo merchandise. Oh my god, yeah, that that would piss me off though. If if we had that reputation and we and we were doing we were doing no hobo before no hobo was cool. We were doing it back when the when when the hobophobics were were were, 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 were shutting people down for their hobo <laughs> homosexualism. <laughs> What you need to do next, take this up a level and do a 1-800 number for speak to a hobo. Or Talk to like, a hobo. <laughs> Sexyhobochat.com. Wait, I was referring you, to that. You could click on. We, 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 ought, we, ought to, we ought to make a site that, that looks like some kind of chat roulette thing. It's like sexy hobo chat. You click on it and it does like randomizing. And it goes and it always plays the same video of like Patrick De La Hanty in a green screen in front of, in front like like sitting on a boxcar talking about it and then playing the spoons at some point. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right. Apparently, I'm well, the one who's after the first idea. big crash that I decided to ride the rail. Says <laughs> <laughs> we're turning the corner. Turned so many corners, I think we're facing forward again. Next <laughs> 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 hobo chat. Oh, that sounds amazing. He railed it. <laughs> railed it. <laughs> no hobo. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's 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 take our third sponsor, and then we'll go ahead and wrap things up here. We got wait, we got wait, some wait, extra wait. bonus stuff. What? The reading. Yeah, no, no, that's, oh, that's, that's coming. That's, that's coming up. That's that's. Oh, yeah. uh, hey, uh, fill me in on who we talked about. Uh, we talked about our friends over at Pro XPN. So they're and now I'm old. Let you know that Audible.com is where you need to go because there there ain't no lie uh, about anything on this show at all. We give you a hundred percent truth. We do a beef walk of truth to you. Every single week. And the there is walk. <laughs> no exception when it comes to Audible. Uh, hey, man. We are Audible fiends, me Dude, and Brian. I'll tell you what, man. Audible's where the party's at. And do you know where my party's rocking right now? Where? Cancer. Yeah. Big C. I'm just, I'm just saying... Guess who's rocking the Emperor of All Maladies by Siddhartha Mukherjee? <laughs> uh, chapter 10 of 16 with two hours and 50 minutes remaining. That's right. Who's thinking about cancer? Me all the time. Uh, Man, I'll tell you what. I feel like Audible is the best thing in the world. They got cancer books to beat the band. How about this? I like to read about politics. I got the brand new Game Change 2012 book double down right up in my face <laughs> i didn't have to read it with my eyes they're dumb what i want smart my ears and my brain how about this let's go a little lowbrow how about a book about professional wrestling squared circle 
by uh, somebody's first name who I can't remember, but his last name is Shoemaker. He has a book there. What? Not musty enough? How about the brand new Doris Kearns Goodwin Theodore Roosevelt biography? What? What? Audible in your face. Oh, man, look, I'm ready to go all the way. I'm willing to admit in public that I just finished reading the most revolutionary book in my library, Strangers to Ourselves. It's about the curious nature of brain mechanics and how we perceive ourselves as consciously in charge of our bodies. But guess what? We're actually just one of many systems in the brain. Or better yet, how about an hour and a half about lying in which Sam Harris says, guess what? You probably shouldn't lie. These are the amazing books. There's The Information by James Glick. Oh, my God, dude. This is like some hilarious. I'm such an old man. I'm reading nothing but nonfiction now. Dude, you need to send me that list. That's all in my alley, man. <laughs> uh, I will say real quick that uh, that Derek Seaver's book, uh, Anything You Want, is about the cre his creation of CD Baby. So and it's, good. It's extraordinary. Have you read it? Yeah, it's super super easy to get through, too. It's just got, like, so many little nuggets. It's great. It's so fun. Yeah, as a matter yeah. of fact, at this, David Halberstam's book, War in a Time of Peace. That's about Bush. 41. Woo-woo. <laughs> Uh, okay, and and actually, this is this is the weird part is that um, uh, before before I signed up for Audible, I would always like if I was gonna pay for an audiobook, I was like, I want to be entertained. You better give me a show. So it was a bunch of like Star Wars books or or you know like the Star Wars it's radio dramas. Great, download those. Th those are those are great. Those are great. But but here's what's great: once you subscribe, and all of a sudden you've got credits every single month. You think like, well, do I really want to be entertained or do I want to learn? And lately, man, I've been on a learning binge. It's all nonfiction. It's like I've read books about, you know, incognito, about the way the brain works, uh, uh, abundance, uh, the, the rational optimist. Like these works have changed my life and, and they're just nonstop. I, mean, I, I love it. Audible.com is the greatest. It's I read 12 to 18 books per year now and i never pick up a stupid piece of, of dead tree and no, try to translate no. their arcane symbols in my brain that's ridiculous <laughs> nobody should by the way brian i'm with you man sometimes i gotta cut loose which is why i downloaded gretchen peter's book seeds of terror about poppy field farming in afghanistan <laughs> oh my yes, God. Son, i know all about the heroin trade Thanks to Audible. This is the weird part where it's like all of a sudden there's somebody who's like listened and enjoyed to NSFW for two years. And it's just like, I don't even know these guys. What the hell are they listening to? <laughs> uh, what, what, what about you, Chris? Are you, you read some Audibles? Um, uh, I, I don't. I use my public library. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fine. As long as you're Here's doing what, No, it's not fine. You got to change it. And it's a shame that you haven't, which is why you need to go. To audible.com. In fact, how about this? You kick us back a little, uh, a little that's amazing. You kick us back a little, uh, a little fun by going to audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW. Here's what's going to happen, okay? You can download an audiobook for free, and like one credit will get you. I mean, Brian, what would you say on average? Like, when credit, oh yeah, 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 no, easily. Uh, most most books like like once you crack the twenty hour mark, that's when they start expecting two credits from you. But I'll hmm. tell you what, man, it's like yeah, uh, like the three books that I downloaded for Singapore, which is what the last three I downloaded, I bought extra credits because I had run out of the credits that I already paid. Which are for crazy, crazy cheap too. That's the other thing is every so often yeah. they'll have a sale. They're like credits three dollars ninety five cents. I'm like blah, 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 blah. give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Huh. And those are all brand new books. They were released like within a week of when I bought them. Uh, the Bully Pulpit, Double Down, and The Squared Circle. Uh, all three of them are amazing. the. If, if you have like been like, eh, I don't know about books on tape, <laughs> like if you're that guy, if you're the books on tape guy, it's a brand new world, baby. Audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW. Sign up. Make us rich. Make you look good. And you'll be handsomer and great. Uh, All right, true fact. So there was somebody in the room earlier in the show that was, uh, I, I guess, you, you've recently run, uh, you're like the brand new John C. Dvorak, Brian. Like, you're on Twit literally every week. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know how that happened. And what's funny is, like, that was I after... what happens. Uh, Chad has guests drop out, and Chad calls you. Yes, okay, that that is, okay. What happens is I'm constantly available. And, and to be honest... 
uh, you you noticed that I only started appearing on Twit a lot after we got the two way Skype thing figured out because yeah. I like like uh, in fact I feel like maybe I bumped you out because you were always the go to guy because you were around and could no, be there in studio. I, I, I it just if I talk to Chad on Saturday or Sunday, yeah, usually the option to be on Twit is on the table just because of the un the unpredictable nature of booking and Chad Chad's weekend begins on Friday. Getting needing to get to four. Yep. Yep. And yep. Ends in the middle of the day on Sunday when the show starts. And yep. so if you can say I can be one of the four, yeah. he is very happy to get to one of the four. Uh, However, yes. Uh, somebody who I guess has listened to you on Twitter and enjoyed you talking and then has uh, watched and listened to you at frame rate says, uh, uh, Brian, really? Uh, Leo gave you a show for this. Uh, you're so much smarter on Twit and frame rate. My first comment is true. My second comment is, what name another show on the internet that's going to drop uh, a, a cancer book reference <laughs> towards Kearns Goodwin and Danielle Steele in a 30-second 30 30 ad read? Huh? You come for knowledge? There's some knowledge. Stay with the globe. Yes, exactly, man. Uh, look, man, NSFW is where we take <laughs> Me and Brian are also one weird thing. It is NSFW is just me and Justin doing our beef walk. The rest of the time, we're yes, trapped inside the, yes. the, the yoke of textile oppression of actually being and acting smart. This is when we get to walk around with our male genitalia exposed and have everyone laugh at us. Wait, I forgot if that was the real. No, no, that, no, that, no, that, that was a, that, that was my that was oh, my man. <laughs> beef walk. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, all right, so so uh, Justin, let's talk a little bit about your book. Talking about being smart and doing things that nobody expects. Uh, yeah. Go home, Santa is really really good, Justin. You listened to it. I did. I uh, twice, twice. I listened to it once, and then uh, I played it. I played my favorite parts for Bonnie, and then uh, I I I got all up in your junk hole. <laughs> and told you, <laughs> I'm trying to work out the mechanics of that. Uh, and, and it told you that uh, that I wanted. I like you, you would have like mining. It would be like the the unpublished draft of the Honey I Shrunk the Kids <laughs> script. <laughs> Uh, so, so like uh, <laughs> he appeared to be in his esophagus, and then you know Rick Moran itches his junk, and they go whoa. <laughs> and he starts, starts all of a sudden, there's a flood. He must be vomiting. This doesn't taste like vomit. Ah! Uh, and then, uh, okay, so here's the important thing before if we can bring it back from the sterile yet scatological edge. Uh, Justin's book is really good, and I was really thrilled that we got into a discussion about what the first track should be. And I was adamant that the first track should be what... Justin perceived as the weirdest of the tracks, and that's why I loved it, is it was an immediate sideways right turn from the very beginning to let people know that what they were in for was was not what, what you might expect from a, a book of holiday short stories. Yeah, so it, all the stories are about Santa Claus. They're not necessarily about Christmas, and uh, this story is very much about Santa Claus. Santa Claus is the main character of it, uh, although not the protagonist, and he's in a very he's a very weird guy. And there's a few lines, and, and we'll, we're going to read it here now, so you'll get to it. But it was something I thought was maybe uh, not as funny as other uh, as other stories, and very weird. But Brian liked it so much and made such a compelling argument. This will be the first story you read if you get the ebook or track you listen to get the audio book uh which was scored by andrew allen um yeah so and by, by the way let, let me let me make it very clear that uh if you buy the if you're cheap and i don't know what your prices are going to be justin but i assume that that just the text is the cheapest uh yeah. and it's more expensive for the audio production part of the reason that the audio production is more expensive is number one number one because you wanted to pay andrew allen who you only told to make one track, just score one track, give me a jazz background for this one track. And he returned with like, yeah, bro, I kind of scored the entire album. Well, yeah, no, I sent him two. I sent him Christmas Florida, which I released on the jury podcast. And then I sent him, uh, man, I forget which, which the other one was. I think it was, um, uh, what, what do pimps get for Christmas? That's the one you did on NSFW. Yeah. Uh, and, um, 
he it was long and weird, and one was silly, and he did both of those. And then he's like, hey, what if I just did everything? And so I was like, okay. And it was really, really good. Right. And so I... So here's what uh, happens. When somebody who's supremely talented offers to do something like that and then blows your mind with making what should be just an audiobook reading and instead turns it into essentially a concept album that, that you're able to download 90 minutes long, then you got to throw that guy some cash, which is why Justin's charging more for the produce thing. But yes, here... Which is why every copy is $50. Yes, exactly. $100,000 a pop. Uh, so, just go to bit.ly slash dex dash around dash game, and you can buy his album. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So I do want to make an announcement. There is uh, a very uh, a, a person who we love here in chat realm that I sent a copy of uh, the audiobook before it was even scored, I believe, um, and. I can say, hopefully, with confidence, she's in the chat room, that the Jack Puppet opus of the uh, the untitled Santa prequel pitch uh, will be hitting the internet uh, at some point in the next uh, week or so. Oh, hells yes. Jackie Hearn and her puppet expertise is amazing. I cannot wait to see that. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, first of all, the album is a uh, slash book is going to be available this Friday, right? Bra Black Friday, uh, Black Friday, <laughs> Black Friday. Yes, Black uh, it'll, Friday. it'll be available on midnight uh, on Black Friday. I haven't exactly settled on what I want to charge for stuff, but uh, if you go to uh, bit.com, go home Santa, all one word, you can uh, get the mailing list tonight. I'm going to send out. The official, the, the audiobook version of the story we're going to read uh, for free to everybody who was on the mailing list tonight. So if you're on the NSFW mailing list, pretty on it. Uh, but double check if you want to make sure. If you're not, then go ahead and uh, go to uh, bit.ly slash go home in, in the meantime, we have to offer the following proviso. I know we're running out of time here, but uh, understand that in the actual album, what you're about to hear would be scored with an awesome jazz soundtrack. It would be phenomenal. It would it would make you weep. Justin's performance is amazing. We're going to throw all that aside and make a totally a community theater reject version of the exact same story with uh, Justin will be playing the narrator. I'll be playing the Santa. Um, uh, Chris will be playing gay elf number one. And Justin will be playing uh, receptionist bitch. Uh, yes. No, Bonnie, right? Yeah. Wait, who did I say? Justin. Right. Sorry. I often confuse you. That's awkward when we're having sex. And I'm like, oh, Justin, you're beautiful. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, I was the only one who was taken to the salad bar. No. Well, Brian's all on this healthy eating kick. <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetheart. We only It has to be an oregano garden or bust. <laughs> all right. You ready, uh, Justin? Right. So... So here we go, Brian. You're gonna be you're gonna be reading Santa Claus, and, and Chris, you have one line. Yep. So don't screw it up. Yeah. Are you following along, here. Chris? You ready, Bonnie? Well, you here. following along? Yeah, you got to point at me. All right, me you got it. All right. What makes Santa cry? Genocide. That's what he just told me through sobs. He's prone on the bed of his workshop office. Think of all the eyes that he'll never see again. Of the war that turns off their lights like so many bulbs on a Christmas tree after New Year's Eve. Women, children, fathers, all gone forever. A snot bubble expands, mucus ballooning. Santa rubs it into the white trim of his sleeve. I hand him his cherry Coke. He asked for it 20 minutes ago. This happens every so often. He'll call down to the something small then when the delivery elf arrives they'll find him a blubbering mess santa stands up cracks the tab on the can and walks to the mirror santa doesn't cry <laughs> not on christmas eve and in an instant he snapped to a presentable state far from no longer slouched taking one more beat he opens the door to reveal the factory floor he's walking to a standing desk where he can oversee the entire manufacturing and loading process I begin to walk back to the kitchen. It's only eight steps to the elevator. You got something you want to say to me? F word. I immediately know this is directed toward me. I can't believe I drew the assignment to deliver him tonight. It was weird enough watching him cry. 
Who knows what happens now? Two seasons ago, Jerry got fired when Santa couldn't get the walls of his gingerbread house to stay up. Friendly breathing too hard. You heard me crying and now you want to pity me? You want to say, how are you doing, Santa? Is everything okay? You ready to ride tonight? You think you know what goes through my mind? Santa punches himself in the head. So, Brian, you, yeah, punch yourself oh, in the I head. I did it. <laughs> you got to begin to fathom what I've seen. Children being beaten, raped, and worse by their own parents. Drug addicts and overdosing. Dogs urinating on the corpses of their morbidly obese owners who've been dead since Labor Day. You think you can live my life? You think I give an F word if you hear me crying? My name is Santa Claus, and I'm the hardest ever effer in this place. I glue my eyes to the ground. Lack of eye contact is the only thing that can suffocate this. Tana tur Santa turns to the rest of his workforce. Anyone else want to hug Santa? Tell him everything's going to be all better, huh? His voice echoes off the high ceilings. I need this sled prepped for lunch in one hour. Stop gawking and get to work. And with that, Santa left. It's time for makeup. In two hours' time, he'll be knee-deep in phase one deliveries. Breaths, deep breaths. It's a solid 30 seconds before I realize I'm still staring at the floor. I survived. Man, that was close. Santa will see you now. <laughs> Nailed it. That was great. You did great. Yes, you no cussing great. either. <laughs> the voice comes from an elf in a striped shirt, his hair done up in elaborate curls. He's got a real curt attitude. He's from makeup. All the costume people think they're better than everyone. But if a makeup artist was convinced to leave his post, it means the big man is for me. I'm toast. God damn it. Dead elf walking. Five minutes later, I'm making eye contact through a mirror as Santa has foundation applied. That was effed up of me. My bad, man. I have no words. You just have to understand the pressure I'm under. I started packing a gun a year ago. One night I accidentally shot a kid because I thought he was a dog. Wait, seriously? I had words for that. No, <laughs> just kidding. Santa smiled his first smile of the night. Oh, you fell for it. <laughs> gotcha. Santa's just getting warmed up. Two of his pork sausage fingers pointed at me as he looked to the curly-haired elf to see if he was laughing. He was. Santa erupted, his entire body rattling with huge guffaws. His laugh becomes contagious. In four minutes, the entire elven wharf workforce is chuckling, singing, and dancing. Santa laughed so hard a single tear fell down his rosy cheek. Christmas had begun. <laughs> oh, Justin, what a fine story. By the way, you guys, uh, let's, let's hear it for our supplemental characters. Gay Thanks. elf and protagonist voice box. That was amazing. <laughs> Yay. Pork sausage fingers, man. Oh, uh, dude, it's actually, it's way good. It's way yeah, good. Yeah, you know, there's stories. Yeah. I mean, I was thinking bits when I went into it because, you know. Bonnie was kind of like put off. Like she was unprepared for how good some of that stuff was. Yeah, yeah. It was definitely, definitely worth getting and listening to. I loved it. It's great. Well, thank you. What? Thank you Why very much. do you do this, Justin? This is crazy. I don't know when he has time. He's all over the place. He's making the comedy all the time. So when did you have time to sit down and write this? Uh, I, I don't know. You know, you want to know what? Uh, it was something that I've just kind of wanted to do. I had an idea for the the one that, that Brian uh, called Hilarious Black Santa. Um I wrote that first, and it was as soon as that was not funny, like when it was done, I was like, well, maybe I should just try to write a bunch of things, and then, like, I'll try to fit in little funny things in between other not fun. So I don't know. There we go. Look at me on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm boring, sorry. Boring, boring, boring stuff. It's, it's very hard <laughs> to, listen, to listen to author Justin while That's teen great. heartthrob Justin is looking in the background. <laughs> he, he's I just want right to Justin, jump right over our, there. Our current day Justin, he's getting the, he's getting the sexy eye from. <laughs> you want to know Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you think that yeah. was. Yeah. 
Oh, there's man. A, Dude, that's Tiger Beat, Justin, man. Oh, that's my amazing. Gosh, you have got to. You know what? You need to do like a walk for cancer, like raise money, and you should sign those and send them out. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's amazing, dude. Uh, okay, so one more time. It's bitly slash go home Santa. Uh, if you guys want to get in right now, and keep in mind, we are, it looks like we're creeping up on halfway to having a custom NSFW version of the deck around deck. Uh, which I'll tell you what, man, I already loved. And that's not just because I freaking schooled you guys double laps after I hit the 21 reset rule and then came back and continued to fool everyone at this game. Uh, it's honestly a fantastic game, and I really do dig Deck Around. Uh, I do need a link for the Movie Draft Minute. I think that's the last thing I need to, to click on over here. So there's that. Um, there we go. Yeah, Blender MF has it for us right now. So let's take a Glamour shots fired. <laughs> Glamour shots fired. All right, movie draft minute. Welcome Let's take a to movie draft minute for the week of November twenty fifth, twenty thirteen. I'm your host Roberto Viegas. Ah, uh, finally Thanksgiving. Time for turkey stuffing, and of course, this week's movie draft minute. Brian Brush was in sixth place with sixty four point <laughs> nine million dollars. Tom Merritt's in fifth place with Delivery Man bringing in eight point six million dollars, like bringing his total to one hundred nine point eight million dollars. Jeff Kanata is in fourth place with $119 million. Padre Balsar is in third place with $169.2 million. Just Rob Young leaps into second place with the Hunger Games bringing in a whopping $170.3 million, like bringing his total to $266.1 million. And still in first place with $357.4 million, it's Casey McKinnon. And that is your Movie Draft Minute for the week of November 25th, 2013. All right, Justin. In all seriousness, uh, like, 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 uh, I mean, are you, you you're a hundred percent, right? Like, you know, you got this thing locked at this point, right? You know, you got to watch for the second week drop, but it, uh, it, it's got really good word of mouth. Okay. First of all, the first Hunger Games movie did $408 million. This one, uh, it, it, it the first one did $150 million opening weekend. You did $158 million opening weekend, set a world record for openings in November. And by all by all measures, it looks like you're going to do better than the first Hunger Games. Like at this point, you've got it locked, right? You're gonna you're gonna hit around 450 for Hunger Games too. You already have that 80 million for Bad Grandpa. That's gonna end at 100. That's over 90 already. So, uh, and then I got Out of the Furnace, which if that gives me, you know, uh, a, uh, you know, it's 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 good. So, uh, yeah, no, I I think I'm going to uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna rock. But what is the Hunger Games thing? They do like the three fingers. Yeah, I think that's the boy. I, I think that's the Boy Everybody Scout salute draft. is what you're doing. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, the one good break I got is that Anchorman Two was moved up a week to December 18th. I don't think that's going to do anything for me. But uh, dude, congratulations in advance. I think you're going to stomp Casey McKinnon. Congratulations, sir. Uh, all right, I guess that's it for this episode of NSFW. Wow, that went by really fast. It's already been like an hour and a half. Damn. Thanks yeah, for having me. Yeah. Dude, hey. Chris, thank you so much, man. Justin, Dude, wait, it was so fun. You guys are very... Brian, you are so damn good at this. I'm I'm wicked. It's a lifetime of manipulation. Time to go and what about so you, Justin? You got anything you want to promote? I'm gonna spend the rest of the <laughs> Besides... Yeah, I want to promote me, baby. <laughs> hey, why don't you think about it, y'all? How about you go buy uh, Go Home Santa, you're drunk this Black Friday. Don't uh, take it. Don't take it from us. Take it from sexy Justin. That <laughs> you need to be buying Go Home Santa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Go ahead, everybody. Go get tech around. Get. Uh, uh, go home, Santa. You're drunk on Friday. Uh, there'll be plenty more to talk about when it comes to that, uh, including uh, Amazon, Kindle, and all uh, availability for the, uh, the audiobook and the ebook. But uh, bit.ly slash go home, Santa. Yeah, man. Dude, great episode. Thank you, Bonnie, for joining us. I'm glad you were able to hang out. Follow me at Invisible Wife. At Invisible Wife. She's funnier than I am. She's certainly filthier than I am. You're a, you're a filthy, dirty salad bar girl. Mm. Salad bar girl. Salad bars. <laughs> it's time for an oregano salsa. Salad bar girl. <laughs> 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 oh, NSF.